What is up guys, my name is Supreme Mayfid and today we're going to be reviewing Impal's H5 Bluetooth noise cancelling headphones. And I know that was a mouthful, but these headphones are really cool. They have a bunch of different features, so if you guys are interested in this, make sure you guys watch the rest of this video. So before we get into the rest of this video, I'm actually recording two videos in one day just to kind of make up for some time. I'm going to be gone on the holidays, so I actually have no uh, first comment for this video. So I'm just going to be giving a shout out to this dude named Mikey Goes, who's been watching my channel for some bit now and he's always leaving feedback. So thank you so much for being you and thank you for always giving good feedback on my channel. Anyways, let's get into this review. Today I'll be reviewing Impal's H5 active noise cancelling headphones. These headphones are amazing, and after just using these for a few days, I have grown to love these things, and they are by far my favorite headphones right now. So let's get into the specs of these things. So first off, they have two 40mm drivers, which is pretty standard for over-the-ear headphones. These drivers deliver clear audio, and especially when you turn on noise cancellation. These headphones don't have amazing bass, but you can still hear it a good bit. So back to the noise cancelling feature, there is a little switch on the right side of these headphones that activates the feature or turns it off. A little green LED turns on when you're using noise cancellation. When you turn on noise cancellation, the audio really seems to get clear, and you start to hear more bass. When I have music playing through these things, I cannot hear anything that's going on around me which is why I'm so excited to start taking these on flights. These headphones claim to get rid of 20 decibels of noise as well. I've read at least one review of people saying that they experience weird feedback while using the noise cancelling feature, but I've never experienced that. I'm really impressed with the battery they put in these headphones. I have not yet charged these headphones since taking them out of the box, and they still haven't died. Impal claims that these headphones should have about 25 to 30 hours of playtime, which I would not doubt. Like I've said, I haven't charged these once yet, and I've been using them for three days already. These headphones are also equipped with a mic, so you can use them for phone calls if you need to. So let's look at the buttons and ports on these headphones. First, we have an audio output so that you can use an audio cable if you don't want to use Bluetooth. Right next to that, we have the noise cancelling switch. On the other side, we have the micro USB which is used to charge these. And off on the side of that, we have the volume control buttons and the Bluetooth pairing buttons. Something that really impresses me about these headphones is the build quality. They feel very fancy and the ear cuffs are really comfortable. These are over the ear headphones and my ears fit very nicely inside of these things without any discomfort. You can also fold these headphones in a bunch of different ways for storing them and they even rest nicely around the neck. These headphones are made of mostly plastic but they have some metal features. They also use a soft touch material in several areas of these headphones which makes it feel expensive but only at a $50 price tag. One thing about these headphones that I'm not the biggest fan of is the design on the side of them. I don't like the shiny glossy look and I wish they used a soft touch material here as well versus this kind of cheap feeling plastic. Overall these headphones are great, they have clear audio and a great design, I would recommend these to anyone. Well I hope you guys enjoyed the video of the Impal H5 headphones, I know I really like this product so if you guys are interested in noise cancelling headphones I'd really recommend these to you because they're pretty cheap for the price compared to like Bose and they perform just as well I would say. Um, I mean there might be a few like design things that I don't fully agree with but for $50 these are amazing headphones. So if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you drop a big thumbs up down below and if you guys have any questions just drop a comment down below. I don't get that many comments so it's pretty easy to respond to all of you guys. And also I upload every Saturday so if you enjoy this content make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Anyways I'll see you guys on the next review. Reality. It is touching the truth.